Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a pretty wicked sick gameplay here uh, with a really high scoring FAL gameplay. It's a 43 in 1 FAL Swarm. It's pretty nice. It's not my best FAL gameplay, but I got some pretty good ones out there if you guys want to check out all their videos. But yeah, it's really good nonetheless. I'm of course running a cog and quick draw with my FAL because that's the things I always got to run with my FAL to do. Uh, fairly well, and you know, it's, it doesn't have a four point whatsoever KDR for no reason. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, it's really pretty cool. But enough of that stuff, let's go ahead and talk about what Nintendo announced today, which is quite a bit of information if you ask me. Now, they basically stated or they basically released information on their new Wii U console. Well, it's not a really new Wii U console, but it's a new Wii U bundle. For Wind Waker HD, they released a new 2DS console, or portable handheld console, and a price drop on their Wii U, as well as their winter, holiday, fall lineup of games for both their handhelds and consoles. So, it's really cool that they did, in fact, inform us on all this new info, is because it's, it's really well suited. So let's just go ahead and get the DS out of the way, because this thing is meant for children, and we all know my viewers aren't children, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so, on October 12th, the company will begin offering the new handheld 2DS for $130. Instead of a folding case like previous 2DS systems, the 2DS has a fixed slate-type form factor. Nintendo also dropped the 3D capability from the mo new model, and the 2DS is compatible with games made for the current 3DS, but in 2D only. So, a lot of people are, are ragging on how it looks, and saying it won't ever sell. Well, I mean, why would you go and judge a console or a portable handheld console before it's even released? First of all, Reggie, uh, as you probably know him, said himself that the thing is made for kids. That's why it dropped the clamshell design or the hinge that it previously had. It's harder to break that way. That makes obvious sense. It's also smaller to fit in smaller hands. The 3D is bad for kids up to age seven, so they dropped that too. And it looks a lot more ergonomic than the original 3DS, if you ask me. So it might not be very aesthetically pleasing, but it definitely serves its purpose, which is a portable handheld console intended for kids. So I think that's definitely going to be a just home run right there. I, I It does honestly look like a really good console or portable handheld console for the price, for the value. You're getting a really nice thing right there. So, along with that, Nintendo also offered a new price drop to their Wii U console. So, the deluxe that used to be worth $350, it is now worth $299. 99 so three hundred dollars that's great right that's one hundred dollars cheaper than the ps4 and two hundred dollars cheaper than the xbox one and assuming you want the basic set that's most likely going to be 150 dollars cheaper now so that's a lot of value for what you're getting if you ask me along with that they go they went ahead and also introduced or confirmed the new wii u wind waker hd bundle which will go on sale on September 20th at a price of $299.99, so the same price as a Deluxe. The bundle includes a black Deluxe Wii U console, a gamepad controller adorned with gold lettering, a gold Hyrule crest and gold symbols from the game, a download code for the digital version of Hyrule Historia, a book that details the chronology, history, and the artwork of the Legend of Zelda series, and a code that can be used to download the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD from the Nintendo eShop immediately at no additional cost. So, the Wind Waker HD game will actually be released before the actual physical copy of it, which is great. And this holiday season price will be a key differentiator for the Wii U, which will be competing with the Xbox One and PS4 arriving on November. Nintendo is also selling some premium games for $50 versus a $60 or higher price of premium Xbox and PlayStation titles. Along with that, they have released a bunch of new information on titles coming to the Wii U and 3DS such as The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, the downloadable version out September 20th, and the packaged version 
out October 4th, both for $50, and for the 3DS The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds is out November 22nd for $40. Wii Party U coming out October 25th in bundle with Wii Remote Plus Controller, and for $50 Mario Party for the 3DS is out November 22nd for $40. Super Mario 3D World is out November 22nd for $60. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze out December 6th for $50. We Fit You. Due in the holiday seasons, details are not yet released. And as well as some other third party titles coming out to the Wii U over the next three months, which include Scribblenauts Unmasked, a DC Comics adventure, Skylanders Swap Force, Call of Duty Ghosts, Just Dance 2014. Assassin's Creed IV, or Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, and Watch Dogs. So, there's quite a bit of stuff that was released today from Nintendo. And there's quite a bit of uh, games that look very enticing, especially with the $10 cheaper than other premium games. Which is great, so it's basically somewhat similar to the Wii and their $50 price range. And with that, you got a cheaper console, which is definitely going to mo hopefully move more consoles, as well as the cheaper deluxe console, not only coming with Nintendo Land and the additional Wind Waker HD, as long along with the really cool gamepad. You could, we can only accept that there will be more Wii U's being sold this holiday season, especially for the real steep price difference. Along with that, and the new more kid-friendly DS. You can only assume Nintendo's going to make quite a bit of money this holiday season, and I think that's a great thing, too. How about you guys? I want to go ahead and ask you and everyone who views this video a question. Are you slightly more enticed about the Wii U or any Nintendo product this holiday season? Do you own any? And would you be willing to buy one now? I'd love to hear your feedback on this, guys. Thank you for watching.